Hello and welcome to June's Gardening Collaboration. Nah, <laughs> we had about three weeks of roasting sunshine and it really brought things on down the allotment and it was tidy and neat but for the last week we've just had rain and storms um, which has trashed a few things and there's lots of weeds. <laughs> I'm going to show, I'm going down this morning to show you but it doesn't look a pretty sight but that's because um, I could do with weeding it all then showing you but they've given out another week of rain after today and by then it'll be too late for me to film this so I'm going to film it today, you take us as you find us um, and I'll show you what's what we've had a few disasters <laughs> but a few good things as well now I had some cauliflower growing but they only got that big and they never got any bigger they never progressed and, they was, and I hadn't put my lettuce seeds in yet so I was just like, you know what, and I just jettisoned all the cauliflower and put lettuce seeds instead. And the lettuce is coming up really fast and really well, so I'm glad I did that. I've got a couple of pumpkins still in the house. But that's because all the pumpkins I've planted down the allotment so far have ended in disaster, but I'll tell you that in a bit. Same as I've got two aubergine plants because all the ones that have gone down the allotment have ended in disaster, but I'll tell you about that in a bit as well. <laughs> I forgot to say, all the other channels involved in the gardening collaboration, I'll link them in the description box below. And I'll try and link the previous gardening collaboration so you can see the people that were involved in them as well. These are the jalapeno chilli plants. They really need separating, but they're doing well, so I've just left them. <laughs> and they're only just starting to get... I don't know if you can see... They're only just starting to get little buds on them, which are going to turn into flowers and then chilies, hopefully. Um, that's my rainbow swiss chard, which is, I could probably eat it now, but everybody says it tastes disgusting, so I'm just leaving it. <laughs> These are all tomato plants. I can't show you in my bedroom because the husband's asleep, he works nights. But all of my bedroom windows are like this as well. <laughs> they could do with bigger pots now. Although they are doing well, but um, I can't order any compost till next week, so I'm trying to hang on till next week till I repot them all. The bottom half of the plot's a complete mess, but I'll show you and explain why in a minute. The top half of the plot isn't too bad, but there's weeds and the grass is long because we've had so much rain, and we are going to work that out. So <laughs> don't judge me too much. We haven't got a strimmer or anything. Everything we do, we do by hand the hard way. Um, I wanted a green ass, but they're too much money. Um, and the allotments committee said that the allotments in the next village are giving them two green asses, eight foot by six foot, um, thirty quid each. But you've got to get it from could get it from the other village yourself and bring it down yourself. And I says, oh, I'd love one, but I can't move it. Anyway, he messaged me yesterday to say this man had got his daughter one, so he got me one as well. So I've got to pay the committee £30 and then I've got to pay the man £20 for moving it for me. So, what's that? £50. So it's still 200 quid cheaper than a new green ass, but it's in bits, look. <laughs> it's in bits and I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. And I spoke to a man this morning and he said he'd only put a green ass up once and that was a new one where everything was labelled and never again. There's, uh, can you see them? There's green ass bolts, but I haven't got enough, so I'm going to have to buy some. I need to buy some yeah. pegs to hold the glass in, apparently. Yeah. I, well, I am really pleased um, with it, but I'm dead, I wanna... I'm dead worried about getting it up. Like, are we going to be able to get it up? Just sit down and open. We're going to see when we film. I'm trying to get past it now, but falling over it. I'm hoping the husband will help me. The best person to ask would be the chicken man, but like I said to Podge, when it's um, someone you're friends with, you don't want to do out stressful like put a green ass up with them. You don't. You want to still be friends afterwards. That's all the glass look. I've been having kittens today, telling the kids not to go near the glass. So that's one thing we've got to do. We've got a lot of strawberries are doing ever so well, and they're growing runners. So they're making new plants. So I said. 
I said I want to plant the runners and have even more strawberry plants. Sorry, Bob, bud. Because um, the strawberry plants survive anything. We planted them last winter and they've survived snow, frost, torrential rain, storm, scorching heat. So even if we end up with a plot just full of strawberry plants, at least they survive. We've had a few strawberries eaten by birds, but I'm reluctant to put netting on because there was a plot down there with netting on and a bird got trapped under the netting and it didn't end well. If I have to, I will, but I'm, I'm just make sure it's down properly, but I don't really want to go down the netting route. They're all strawberries as well, and they're doing ever so well, growing runners lots, so I can have new plants. And what a gift, eh? New plants every single year off them. Now, I mean, potatoes, normally I've got rows and rows of blooming, beautiful potato plants by now, but that's all I've got. And I don't know if that's all the rain or because I used seed potatoes with ridiculously long roots on them. But we'll just we'll just keep pressing on with it, see what happens. Look, the grass is out of control. It needs sorting. But this is real life, chaps. I'm trying not to fall over. Right, beanies, just uh, weeding the onions for me. Look, the onions are doing really well. And there's sunflowers are alive but they're looking a bit mangled but that's all the rain we've had <laughs> um they oh thank you Bobo that's very nice of you darling Bob's just give me that look uh needs weeding needs weeding that one's got onions in it oh but careful uh raspberry plants are doing well I planted three uh, three rows of potatoes here and only two's come up, so we'll see. Is this where the raspberries grow? Yeah, that's where the raspberries are going to grow, darling. Oh, is them so pink or wet? Yeah, eat them when they're pinky red, not when they're like white or green, like... Same with the strawberries. Don't yeah. pick them too ready. Yeah, because I'm not There's a bee looking, having, having fun. Is there anything nicer than a warm berry straight off the plant that way? When I was little, my mum always had raspberry canes and just tasting a warm berry straight off the plant just reminds me when I was little. Right, are you prepared for the bottom of the plot, which is a complete state? Last time we had this bottom of the plot, it had a bindweed problem. Who had it last, drenched it in weed colour, the bindweeds come back. And it's like, it's unbeatable. Every single time we come down, we're just pulling up bindweed. And um, if weed killer don't kill it, I've said, we're pressing on this year, but I've said to the kids next year, if we're keeping this bottom of the plot, um, raised beds and covering the rest is what we're going to have to do, because it tips the balance of your mind, constantly pulling bindweed up. You'll be able to see how bad it is in a minute. There's my peas. They were being choked by bindweed. Me and Pudger pulled them up. There's two rows of potatoes there, but they haven't come up yet. And look, bindweed, 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 it's everywhere, it's unstoppable. This was runner beans, but you can't tell what's runner beans and what's bindweed. So I've got some wooden edging that I'll show you in a minute, and I want to do like a raised bed round it for the peas, like the, the beans this time. This polytunnel we made out of hula hoops worked really well, it was dead hot in there. So we planted aubergines in it, and all the aubergines except one got eaten. So then we put pumpkins in it, <laughs> and they were doing all right, but the storm has ruined it, look, and I just haven't got the heart to deal with it yet, because it's disappointing when stuff like that happens. But hopefully, I can get this greenhouse up, and I won't need um, makeshift polytunnels anymore. Look, me and Pudge were dead hard on it, look, dead good, and the storm just destroyed it. That's that wooden edging, where I'm going to make a raised bed round the, the beans. In there's beetroot, that's doing well. In there's radishes that's doing well and the carrots are just starting to come up. Now this, again, we're doing really badly for pumpkins this year. I had some beautiful plants, planted them down there, torrential rain killed them. I planted some in here and that's the only one that survived. So I've got a bath lot and I'm going to get another one. Raised beds is the future down here and I want to put my greenhouse there and hopefully shed eventually. So... It's a bit of a disaster area of the bottom half, but the top half's okay. <laughs> and hopefully next month we'll have some nice weather and we can we can press forward with covering the bottom and putting raised beds in and getting the green ass up hopefully. 
If you're only here for the gardening club, I'll see you next month. And if you're here anyway, I'll see you next time for a new video.